Good day to you. This is Norman Morris coming to you from Cornerstone Senior Services out of the Asheville, Western North Carolina area. I'm an insurance agent and I help people navigate through the Medicare maze and make sure that you are getting everything that you deserve and that you need for your health insurance when you, once you get Medicare. All right, I am creating a few videos to help people understand what Medicare is, the parts of Medicare, and what they can do to enhance and get all the benefits that they are entitled and that they deserve. So last time we talked about the parts of Medicare, this time we're talking about your options once you get Medicare or the red blue card. The reason it's called red blue card is because you have a red and blue stripe on top of it, you have your name, group of numbers and letters, and what's called an effective date for your part A and part B. All right, so once you get Medicare, what do you do? All right, so there are basically five options, sorry, five options that you have once you get Medicare. All right, the first option is to do absolutely nothing. That's an option you always have no matter what happens to you in life. You can always do nothing. Now, I would never recommend this option. The reason why is that Medicare is an 80-20 plan. You are responsible for 20% of your doctors and medical bills. There is no cap on that 20%. So if you have to go to the hospital and your bill is $100,000, and I used this example last time, you're responsible for $20,000 of that. All right, that's a big chunk, okay? So there is no max amount of pocket, there is no cost for this, or if, you know, there's an, no cap on it, you could spend 20% of an infinite amount of money, all right? So you can always do nothing once you get your Medicare, but I would never recommend that. Second, you can take out just a prescription drug plan, the Part D, remember D is for drug plan, all right? This will help cover your drug uh, prescriptions, the reason why you need to do a prescription drug plan is because one, that's a very expensive part of your health insurance. Two, if you do not take a drug plan out, you are penalized for the rest of your life if you ever put one into effect, all right? The third thing you can do is you can take out what's called a Medicare Advantage or that Part C. You've probably seen those ads where you have um, the all-in-one card, you see these celebrities, Joe Namath was very popular. Uh, during the 2020 year to do the um, advertise the uh, Medicare Advantage plan or Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans. Uh, so that is an option. This would actually take over your Medicare. So when you go to the doctors, if you had a Medicare Advantage plan or a Part C, you would show them that plan. Um, you show them that card. You still have Medicare. You don't lose Medicare, but instead of Medicare being your primary health insurance, this uh, Medicare Advantage becomes, or your Part C becomes your health insurance. In Western North Carolina, Humana, Blue Cross, Aetna, WellCare, United Healthcare are um, the top five choices for people with Medicare Advantage plans. All right, the fourth option you have is what's called a Medicare Supplement, okay? That is also known as a Medigap plan. So basically what that does is that covers the 20% Medicare does not cover. So when you go to the doctors, you show them your Medicare card and you show them a Medicare supplement. It's like a bridge covering that from the 80 to 100%. So basically you still have some deductibles, but there's very little co-pays with those. And I'll talk later in another video about the difference, differences between the two. All right, but with a Medicare supplement, you have to get a um, separate drug plan. Uh, we talked about the Medicare Advantage, a lot of them have a drug plan with them. The Medicare supplements usually do not cover a drug plan with that, so you need to get that on top of this, all right? And then your fifth option is to keep what you already have if you're allowed to do so uh, for your health insurance. So if you're still working, you keep that health insurance. If you're a state employee, you can have a retirement uh, insurance or if you're a veteran and thank you for your service I appreciate what you've done for our country you can um, use the VA hospital as or TRICARE for Life or CHAMP VA or something like that so um, those are your five options with Medicare thank you for your time and I hope I look forward to seeing you again on some of the next videos